A very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the cabinet meeting today at Gdaibiya Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of the successful visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Saudi Arabia and the meeting with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, hailing the importance of these meetings in supporting historic relations between the two countries and in bolstering cooperation. He reiterated the affirmation of Bahrain's supporting stance towards Saudi Arabia led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and crown prince and its rejection of all systematic campaigns and malicious media statements against Saudi Arabia. The cabinet condemned the terrorist attack targeting cops in Minya, Minya, Egypt, asserting that the attack will not undermine or weaken the strong Egyptian fabric, stressing the kingdom's supporting stances towards the measures taken by Egypt led by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to protect its security and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the ministries and government institutions to expedite the completion of administrative measures to guarantee the disbursement of payment to companies, contractors and suppliers during the periods stipulated in the contract to avoid routine and bureaucracy and to be committed to the government's policy of disbursing payments on the prescribed time. His Royal Highness directed ministries to take into consideration that citizens benefit from every investment opportunity in Bahrain. He stressed the necessity for opportunities to be provided fairly and in accordance with competitiveness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to speed up compensating those who la whose lands has been expropriated. The Cabinet commended the Kingdom's selection for the Healthy Cities Project by the World Health Organization for the availability of institutions that promote health, adequate housing, security, cleanliness and sports, social and cultural centers. It also expressed pride in the availability of conditions that the organization had set in all the kingdom's governorates and areas. The Cabinet discussed the executive regulations for the value-added tax law, which details the provisions, rules and procedures relating to the calculation, payment, scope and proportion of the VAT. The Cabinet reviewed a memorandum of understanding on the establishment of relations between Manama and Hangzhou City in China, which aims to reinforce cooperation between the two sides in activities related to logistics, transport and cooperation in the financial sector and among advanced technology companies. The meeting approved to align the national qualifications framework with the Scottish credit and qualifications framework to benefit in the field of quality education and training. The meeting also approved the general frame proposed by the Education and Training Quality Authority to be applied in the next session, which is effective from February 2019, to review the performance of public and private schools, kindergartens and vocational education and training institutions. The Cabinet approved the 2018 annual report of the Education and Training 
Housing Quality Authority, which included the performance of public and private schools, vocational education, and higher education institutions. The cabinet approved signing a memorandum of understanding for joint cooperation in the field of export credit guarantee between the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, and Tourism and the Arab Investment and Export Credit Guarantee Corporation. And the cabinet referred three draft laws to the Representatives Council on organizing pension and retirement benefits for government employees on amending provisions of the social insurance law and on amending provisions of the regulation of retirement pensions and benefits law for the officers and members of the Bahrain Defense Force and public security. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated in the opening ceremony of the World Youth Forum held yesterday in Sharm Sheikh under the auspicious and presence of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. His Highness delivered a speech on the occasion. <laughs> أنا تمنيت أن هذه النقطة تثار لكن الحق يجب أن يقال مصر أيام الزمن الفرعوني وبالأخص في زمن الملك رمسيس الثاني بحروبها الكثيرة وبانتصاراتها الكثيرة وبالذات الكر والفر والهزيمة والخسارة والانتصار ضد الحيثيين تمكن الملك الرمسيس الثاني بالانتصار ضد الحيثيين رغم خسائرها الكبيرة ولم تأخذه نشوة الفوز ونشوة الانتصار وثم يذهب إلى القضاء على الحيثيين بأجمعهم بل اتفق مع القادة الحيثيين أن يوقعوا أول اتفاقية ومعاهدة سلام في تاريخ البشرية والإثبات على ذلك هذه الاتفاقية موجودة الآن نسخة طبق الأصل منها في مقر الأمم المتحدة اليوان ولا أعتقد في صياغة هذه الاتفاقية مع احترامي لجميع المحامين اليوم أن يستطيعوا أن يصيقوا شيء بهذه الدقة وبهذه الاحترافية فهذه هي مصر الحقيقية وهذه هي مصر كما كانت وما زالت ولن تزال إن شاء الله In implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 additional housing units before the end of the year, the Minister of Housing Basim bin Yagub Al Hamar announced the Ministry's implementation of the order today according to a schedule that will continue until the end of the year. The Minister expressed the pleasure of all the Ministry's affiliates to implement the current distribution program as it represents the last stage of implementing the housing commitment of distributing 25,000 units which the ministry succeeded in implementing according to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for housing services, the follow-up and continuous directives of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The minister affirmed the ministry's keenness on continuing work at the same pace until the completion of the implementing the royal order of distributing 40,000 housing units. Al Hamar stated that the ministry has formed a work team from the direct of the housing projects and services to identify the distribution areas and create the beneficiaries list. He asserted that the team has been instructed to carry out its duties swiftly, adding that the schedule of implementing the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince includes the distribution of housing units in 17 housing projects. He asserted that the work team that will carry out the duty of distribution has clear instructions on the necessity for facilitating and expediting procedures for citizens and that the Ministry will exert all efforts to be committed to this schedule during the distribution period.